Hey guys, going to football here, back with another video, and today we are back with the Premier League predictions for game week 21. And today, as usual, I'll be sharing um, my my one mate, my mate Jack Harding, uh, Jack Harding's predictions. And let me go through the scores with it really quickly before we start the video. Me zero, Jack two. He beat me again. He's the best guest I've ever had. I've all whenever I've asked somebody for my predictions right, he's is the only one that's really got anyone right. Everyone else has been pretty dressed. Oh, if Jack would have got three, I'd have been super mad, super mad. But uh, I've still got this week to improve. So right to the first game, which is Everton versus Newcastle. Well, Everton. Going off a 1 1 draw against Leicester and Newcastle can't seem to get any points from anywhere. And I think Bruce, he's under pressure now. Um, no, I don't think many people will want to work with Ashley. Well, well, with the bad ownership at Newcastle. So I can't see any way Newcastle are going to grab any points here. So I'm going to say 2 0 to Everton. On to the next game, on to the next game now, which is. Crystal Palace versus Wolves. Well, well, Palace have come off another defeat last, and they really need to start picking up the points because they haven't got the win in quite a few games since Sheffield United at home. And obviously, my team Wolves are playing against playing against Palace here, coming off a nil nil draw to Chelsea. Well, a little bit of a disappointing result, but we've got to take a few positives from that. We didn't concede, and that's a good point away at a top team. Well, not at the moment, though, but they are a top team, though. Here, I think um, if we're going to win, it'll only be by one goal. So I'm going to say 1 0 to Wolves. Wolves. Because we've beat, in all competitions, we've, since being in the frame, we've beaten them four times, and they've beaten us once, so I'm pretty confident here. So right on to the next game now, which is West Brom versus Fulham, relegation six pointer. West Brom really need to get um get some points out of this game. And Fulham, they they've played some good stuff this season. It's just those penalty penalty misses that have just hurt their hurt their feelings because if they're just scores with those penalties, that they've gone towards some wins and points and they'll prove you out the drop zone. I think both teams will be looking for points here, and I can only see a point separating this both. So I'm going to say a 1 1 draw. But I'll say who are the favourites here, judging on form? I'd have to say Fulham. Fulham have got quite a lot of draws, two wins this season, but they've, they've done ever so well this season. Came close, close, nearly beat Liverpool, did really well against. Um, he did really well against um, Spurs as well, and he did really well against Manchester United. So he played decent against the top teams. And God knows how they've only got two wins this season. Um, I just was when I got after going on to the next game. When going on to the next game, I just want to say um, I, I'm deeply appalled that some West Brom fan has decided to. Go on social media and accuse Romain Sawyers of the whole 5 0 defeat to um, Man City. It's not just about. Maybe he was to blame for the defeat, but not just him, though. There's no need to be racist to people, though, is there? Even though they might play bad. It's not just about making one player a scapegoat. You can't do that. Uh, well, uh, I, don't like, I don't like West Brom, right? But. Um, Obviously, I'll support them with over racist comments, though, definitely. And they've dealt with, West Brom have dealt with it really, really well. They reported it to the West Midlands straight away. That's reporting it really quickly. So, well, well done, West Brom. Well done, West Brom. So, our next game now, which is Man City versus Sheffield United. Man City last came off a 5-0 win against... Um, 
But I thought when against West Brom, so you still be made your confident going into this game as they're playing another relegation opponent, Sheffield United, who did come off. Surprise, sucking everyone, surprising them, getting a 2 1 win away at Old Trafford. Who expected that? If you think about it, these, well, if you think about it, since they had that cook going against Bristol Rovers, they won, they wanted to get another victory, and then now after playing Plymouth in the Cup in the fourth round, they go on to get another win, so it's boosting up their confidence. With a win against uh, Man United, would it boost their confidence for the City game? Well, it might boost their confidence as they might not get thrashed as much. I still think they'll lose, but Man City aren't always consistent as scoring as much as they can at times, so. though. So I'm going to say Man City 2, Sheffield United 1. You, you can't write them off, but you can't see them getting anything against Man City, though. On to the next game now, Arsenal vs Manchester United, the game of the weekend. Arsenal coming off with, I've got excellent league form, coming off a 3-1 win away at Southampton, getting revenge on Southampton after losing to them in the FA Cup. And Man United coming off a really embarrassing defeat to Sheffield United. But it's only one game though, and if you've seen what can happen in the Brem this season, um. Here, I'm going to say, I'm going to go a 1-1 one, one draw here. I think it'll be very interesting. On to the next game now, which is Southampton versus Aston Villa. Southampton coming off a 3-1, both of these teams losing last week in midweek. Southampton to Arsenal, as they got hit back in revenge. After they beat them, Arsenal in the Cup, and then... Who lost 3 1 at home to them in the league? And Aston Villa losing to Burnley, who are fighting to stay up this season, but losing 3 2 to them. And they surprised everyone there, but, uh, Burnley. So both teams will want to bounce back here. So aren't you, aren't you going to go, um, uh, like I said about the West, uh, I'm going to say here a 1 1 a 1-1 one, one draw here because they're both looking for points but um, and both don't want to lose so I think a draw will settle them both just to get them back on track so right the next game now Chelsea versus Burnley well Chelsea got a 0-0 draw against us last and, and Thomas Tucker will sort of be looking for his first win because under in his first game they actually did play pretty well Chelsea and they'll still be really pleased but he knows that there's still a lot of work to do. Well, Burnley, they're on excellent form now. They beat Liverpool and they beat Liverpool and who else did they beat? Um, Aston Villa, of course, and got a fantastic win, three 0 win against um, Fulham in the cup. So they're on fantastic form. It's a dice. It's a dice spectacular magic, magic again. I was going to predict Burnley to score here, but with with Chelsea, with Thomas Tuchel trying to get a win here, and after Thomas Tuchel getting a good impress, a good good sift from the lads against us, I saw he'll be up for a win here. So I'm going to a winning reward for the hard work against us. So I'm going to say two 0 to Chelsea. Maybe Burnley could get one, but this is just what I think. On to the next game now: Leicester versus Leeds. Two good attacking sides, but um, Leicester are without Vardy, but they're still creating lots of chances and still looking to score and have lots of options up front. Well, Leeds, they've slowed down on the goals in the last few games, but I saw it's just a slump for them. So I'm going to go for a five-goal thriller here and say Leicester three, Leeds two. All right, to the next game now, West Ham versus Liverpool. West Ham coming off a 3-2 win away at Palace in the South London derby. And Liverpool coming off a 3-1 win away at Spurs. In in the title puzzle and, the, and fighting for the Champions League. I actually watched that game last night. That was a really good game. Liverpool getting back on track after losing to Burnley. So that's good for that. That's good to that for them. Here, this was a very tough one to decide. 
Before I give you my prediction, uh, I gotta say uh, one thing. With Jesse Lingard, uh, one thing to say that Jesse Lingard has joined West Ham on loan until the end of the season from Manchester T Manchester United. Who expected that? Wait, stay. I think he. I think he won't stay at United forever. He'll go eventually. You know what? I was going to say a draw, but I'm just saying Liverpool are going to be slight favourites here. I'm going to get that extra bit of quality. So I'm going to say West Ham 1, Liverpool 2. No reason, Moyes have been asking a, a little bit more of his players. Can you tell if he's on the such line the other night? When one player was performing, or they could like concede a goal or something. Um, right, so last game now in the final game, which is... Brighton versus Spurs. Well, Brighton drew against Fulham last at home, so so they drew twice to Fulham now. So some of these relegation scraps get scraps games, scrapper scrap, scrap games. They've actually failed in the against against several United, West Brom, and Fulham. They failed to get a win in any of those games. I, don't, I can't see them get it. They're a good team, but just don't have many good players. I think they'll survive, but it will be very close. If our Spurs coming off a 2 1 defeat to Liverpool, do I think they can win? I think they can, so I'm just going to say. If you see Mourinho come back and just say 3 1 to Spurs. So, right, we've done my predictions now. Let's go on to Jack Harding's predictions. Here, there's some very interesting ones here. The one that will surprise you a lot. Right, Everton 3, Newcastle 0. Palace 0, Wolves 1. He said the same as me on that. Um, Man City 2, Sheffield United 2. Wow. Um, West Brom 1, Fulham 3. Arsenal 2, Man United 1. Southampton 2, Villa 1. Chelsea 3, Burnley 0, Leicester 2, Leeds 1, West Ham 0, Liverpool 0, and Brighton 1, Spurs 2. Wow, Man City, said Man City 2, Suffolk United 2. That is very interesting. Suppose you've got to back Suffolk United sometime, haven't you? And think that they're going to win. I know I was to, uh, every week I've never been determined to say a several United win. So right guys, that will be the end of the video now. So if you didn't if you did not enjoy today's video, do get a like, do subscribe to the channel and turn and turn on your notifications every time I make a video. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll be back I'll be back hopefully tomorrow with another match review for Palace vs Wolves. Just, I don't know where it will be, but you'll soon find out. Have a good one, guys. Up, up, up the walls. Bye, guys.